In today's video, we're making a baby rattle. Um, we chose the giraffe today. So we're gonna need the four colors. We've got the brown, yellow, black, and white. We've got the stuffing to go inside, the rattle itself, which goes into the head. We're using a two millimeter hook, needle, pair of scissors, and a stitch marker. And we need to start off with the magic circle. You wrap it around your fingers, under, and pull it through. And then we catch the yarn on the other side and pull it straight through the little hole that you've made. Okay, so we need to do six single crochets into this magic yarn. So here's number one. Here's number two. Three, four, let's just put it tighter a bit. Five, and number six. And you always remember to pop your stitch marker in so you don't lose where your last stitch was. Okay, so we've closed our hole and we just need to do row two next, which is two single crochets in each stitch. So you're doing six increases in the whole round. So this is our first one. That was a bit tight. One, going back in the same stitch. The second one. And then the next stitch is going to have another two. So this is number three we're doing. We're going to end up with 12 stitches at the end. And same stitch, number And then for the last one, we need to take our stitch marker out. And we're going to do the last two. This is number 11. And the last one makes 12. So that's row two complete. Just pop our stitch marker back in. want to go in. There we go. And we're ready for row three. For row three we're going to do one single crochet followed by an increase all the way round. So we're going to end up with 18 stitches at the end of this row. So this is our first one. And then that one is followed by an increase in the next one. So two stitches. One two and then one single crochet followed by an increase And just keep repeating that sequence all the way around till you get back to your stitch marker, which should end up on your increase.
and then we remove our stitch marker for this last one. There's an increase in this last stitch. There we go, and we'll pop it back in. Okay, we're on row four now, so we're going to do two single crochets followed by an increase. Exactly the same as before, we're just adding an extra single crochet. one, two, and then the increase. Two singles. Followed by the increase. Okay, so if you carry on doing your two singles and you increase all the way around, I'll meet you back here with a stitch marker. Now on row five, so we're going to do three single crochets followed by an increase. Next one is an increase one. And repeat the sequence all the way around. Three single crochets followed by your increase. This is your increase one. And then I'm going to carry on and I'll meet you back here at the stitch marker. Okay, so that's row five complete. You should have 30 stitches going around your ring at the moment. So for round six, we're going to do four single crochets followed by your increase. And this will bring you up to 36 stitches when you're finished. And we've got one. Two, three, four, and then you'll increase in the next stitch. It's your first one and your second one. So we're going to carry on all the way around four single crochets followed by an increase and I'll meet you back here at your stitch marker. Now we're going to be on row seven. We are going to do five single crochets then an increase and you're going to end up with 42 on your round at the end of this one. So we've got one, two, three, four, Five, followed by your increase, two in this one here, one, two, so you're going to follow it all the way around, five single crochets, then an increase till you get to the end, and this is your last increase round. Now for row eight, all the way through to row 14, so that's seven rows, we are going to do one single crochet into each one and you're going to end up with 42 stitches like you have on the previous round all the way around. So literally one single crochet in every single stitch. We're not doing any increases and you're going to carry on doing that for seven rows. Now we've reached row 15 so it is time to decrease back down to get to the handle. So we're going to do five single crochets followed by a decrease. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So there's one, 
two, three, four, five. And then with the decrease, we're going to pick up the front loops of the next two stitches. So we're going to end up with three on our hook. And we're going to pull the yarn through the first two. And then we're going to finish the stitch off there. So that is your decrease. So we'll do it one more time. So we've got one. Two. Three. Four. Five single crochets and then the decrease. So again, we're going to pick up the front loops. The next two stitches, pull the yarn through and finish off the stitch. So you're going to continue that all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. Now row 16, everything's in reverse at the moment. So we're going to do four single crochets followed by a decrease just to bring the size back down again. So we have one, Two, oops, three, four, and then another decrease. So we're going in the front loops only. So let me get them up. There we go. Pull it back through. and finish off the stitch. So we need to carry on all the way around, four single crochets followed by a decrease, and I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. Row 17, we are going to be doing three single crochets and a decrease. This is your last decrease round for the moment. One, two, three, Followed by the decrease. And finish the stitch. Okay, so carry on and I'll meet you back here with the stitch marker. Now at this stage, we need to add the stuffing into the head and our little rattle. So we'll just pop a little bit first to line the head. And then we're going to push our rattle in, just like so, and then add some more stuffing around it. So you want it to be quite firm so it keeps the structure. Okay, and there we have our giraffe's head so far. Okay, now row 18. This is the last decrease before you work on the handle. So we're going to do two single crochets, then a decrease. And this is where it gets a bit tough because you don't want to be bringing through the stuff in because it will show. We've got one, two, one, followed by your decrease. And you just need to carry on going all the way around till I meet you back at the stitch marker. Now you should have 18 stitches left on your work. And for row 19 through to row 44, um, we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch and that's gonna make you this long handle. So let's just do a few with you. One. Two. Three, four, five. 
So if you carry on all the way around and just remember to keep your stitch marker in place after each row so you don't lose where you are. And I will meet you back here at row 45. We've just finished row 44. And before we go any further, we need to stuff the handle. So we need to work it all the way down. and if you're happy with that you then start your decrease rows so the next one is going to be row 45 it's one single crochet and then a decrease and we're going to do that six times so our loop. and mind the stuffing as you go one single crochet followed by a decrease so that's the first loop and the next two stitches And then finish off the stitch and then we have a single crochet and a decrease and then I will meet you back round at the stitch marker to do the following row. So row 46 we're going to decrease six times which will leave us with six stitches left in a row. So we're literally just going to pick up the front loops of all of them all the way around and do your decreases. It gets quite fiddly because it's getting a lot tighter as you get down to the end. So I'll meet you back at your stitch marker. Right, so we finished with that round. We are going to cut off the yarn and we're going to pull it through. Now we need to close in these last six. So we need our needle. And we're going to pick up the front loop of each six stitches. So we've got one here. two, three, four, five, and this will be our last one here, six, and then we just need to give it a tuck and you'll see them all closing in, just like that. And then I like to pop the needle back through and pull it up part way up. like that and we'll give it a tug to pull it in so there's the base and then we can just snip this end off there we go so that is the basic giraffe shape and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start making the ears now you're going to make two of these ears so we need to start off with a magic circle and we're going to do five single crochets into the magic circle So we have got, this is our first one. I'll make it a bit tighter. Two. Three. Four. And the last one's number five. And then we're going to give it a tug to close up that hole and pop your stitch marker in. I'll just tug on this one here, 
closes the hole up. For row two, it's two single crochets followed by an increase. It's quite fiddly because it's going to be quite tight in this one. So we have got one, if it come through. Find the next one for number two. And then in this third stitch, we need to do two single crochets. So it's this one here. It's one, two, and then we've got our last two single crochets to fit in. So we've got one in here and one under our stitch marker. So just remove that now. And there we have it, that's row two done. Pop our stitch marker back in. Now for row three, we're gonna increase in every stitch. So we've got six on here at the moment and we're gonna make it into 12. So we need to find this first one here. That's one and another one in there. Two. Just work your way around and do two single crochets into every stitch. Whoops. Stitch marker's getting in the way. This is the fiddliest bit, this early stage. and the last two are going to be under our stitch marker. There we are. So there should be 12 stitches in your work at the moment. You just pop the stitch marker back in. Now rows four through to eight, so that's five rows in total. We're going to do one single crochet into every stitch. So there should be 12. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve is going to be underneath your stitch marker. And finally, number 12. Pop that one back in. So now we've got another four rows of these to do. And then the ear is finished. Now I've just finished off on row eight. So I need to cut a reasonable length of yarn because we need that to use to sew it to the head. And then we are going to sew at the end. So we need to pull this piece out and thread our needle. It's not all quite on that, let's do that again. That's better. 
after. And then we are going to feed the first tail back inside. We don't need that bit. Just push it down. And we're going to squeeze the ear together. So we folded it in half to give it the ear shape. And we are going to sew through the stitches at the end to hold it secure. That should be enough. And there we have our ear shape ready to sew to the body. So you need to go on and make another one of these and I'll meet you back when we start doing the horns. Now for the horns, we're going to start off with a brown yarn and we are going to do um, eight single crochets in a magic circle. one's number eight so we need to pop our stitch marker in and tighten the hole and give it a tug on this one close it in and for the next two rows we are just going to do one single crochet into each stitch so this is our first one. That's quite tight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and the last one's number eight. Move the stitch marker. You want to try and push your work back on itself, otherwise, the next row is going to be more difficult. Here's number eight. And pop the stitch marker back in and I will meet you at the end of the next row. Now this is the last stitch of row three. I'm just going to show you this before we move on because we are going to change the colour. So on the last stitch I bring two loops up and then instead of finishing that stitch in that colour I add the new colour. And you'll see why in a second. We pull that through and this is where the stitch marker goes in. So this is the end of row three. And for row four, we need to do three single crochets and then a decrease. Oops, get this out of the way. So, just give that a tug. We have got one here. This is number two. And number three. And then we're doing the decrease. And then finishing off the round with the last three single crochets. One. I'll get this 
of it is out of the way. Two, and then we need to take the stitch marker out for the last one. Cut off the brown yarn because we're no longer using that one. Get that away. And the easiest way to do it is to tie the two ends that we just joined together. So it's the yellow one that we've joined. And give it a bit of a tug to tighten those early stitches. And then we're going to trim off the excess and poke it back into the top of the horn. five to seven so that's the next three rows we are just going to do a single crochet in each stitch so there's going to be seven in total so we've got one two three Number five, we've got number six, and number seven is going to be under our stitch marker. stitch marker back in and we've got two more of these rows so I will see you back at the end. Okay we've just come to the end of our round seven we need to do a slip stitch and then fasten off so it's into the next stitch put it through and put it through the one that you're on. So we're going to oops, need a length of this for sewing it on and okay, pull that through but first we need to put a bit of stuffing just in this brown bottom bit here I mean, this one's going to be fiddly to get in. So just be patient with it and keep forcing it down. Okay, so we've finally got the stuffing all the way down to the bottom. And that is one of our horns. So I now need you to go and make another one. And I'll meet you back and we'll start doing the muzzle. For the muzzle, we're going to use the white yarn and we need to do a magic circle with six single crochet. is the last one and then we need to pop our stitch marker back in and close up the circle okay, I'll just give it a good tug ok 
Okay, and now for row two, we need to do an increase six times. So we're gonna do 12 by the end of this row. So here's our first one. One. Two. Three. two under the stitch marker. Eleven and twelve. So we pop our stitch marker back in. And we go on to row three. Row three is um, three single crochets followed by an increase and we're going to repeat this all the way around. So we have one, two, three, and then our increase in the next stitch. So it's two in that one. And then we go back to our three single crochets. One, two, three, followed by the increase. And get back in. And then three single crochets and our last stitch under the stitch marker should be our increase. Two in this one. Put this one back in. This row four, it's the last row in this round. We're going to do a single crochet into each stitch. And we should end up with 18 at the end of it. So I'll meet you back here. Now just finishing off this row, we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch before we cut our yarn. And we need a fair piece to be able to sew it onto your shelf. Just fold it in the right way. And there we have our muzzle. Thing we're going to be making are the spots for the giraffe so we need to do a magic circle and in the magic circle we're going to put eight single crochets to close it up and then we need to do a slip stitch into the first one and there we have it Pull enough through to be able to sew it to a giraffe 
And then what I tend to do is give it another tug on the initial one so that we can close that hole a little bit more. There we go. And there's our spot. So I have made, and we've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six on there. So it's up to you whether you want to do more or less. And I'll meet you back once we have those ready. Right, firstly, we're going to sew on the ears. So what we generally do is we find around the middle section and place your ear there. And we are hold it in place with a pin to begin with so that I can find them both symmetrical and then start my sewing. So. That's one of them. Put the pin in this one. So we just follow whichever line round that you've done it in on. So that's going to be our ears. And then we just thread your needle. Oops. And we just take a section from underneath and just sew it in place. And then back through the stitching. Oh, needles come and threaded. quite tough because we've doubled over the ears so be patient with it and give it a good push and keep putting it tight as you do it so the stitches are quite firm I'm going to come back through the ear and into the body again it with the body so all these stitches are hidden away so you're not going to see them And this will probably be the last one. I'll feed it back through. Just like that. We take the pin out. And there we have our ear. And we're just going to go ahead and do the second one. So I'll meet you when you've done the second ear. Now we have both ears on. We are going to work on the horns. Which, as you can see, are just a couple of rows off the centre line. So again, I just get a pin, pop it in ready. So there's our center. We're just gonna go a couple across. Like that, and we'll get the other one lined up as well. We're gonna meet it on the other side. And then just make sure they look square as you're doing them. I'm going to start off with this one. So same process, catch some of the head before you go into the horn. And then I tend to go up each stitch as I go round. And down the following one and then I give it a good tug once it's on the head. So it's like that and then you find your next stitch that you want to go in. And then when you pull it tight you can't see any stitches. Just get the pin out of the way. 
down the next one. Give it a little tug. Close it all up. And then we're going to go through the head on this one. We tend to go under the horn so you can't see them when it's finished. Up the next one. This one's getting in the way. And down the next stitch. And then it'll be the last one on the head. So that has gone all the way around. That's quite secure. So I'm just going to do one more stitch to finish it round and then lose the thread in the body. And this yarn just wants to split at the moment. So I'm going to go up this one. And lose it down here in the body. Okay, now I'm going to go on with the next one. So I'll meet you when that one's done. Okay, so we're going to do the eyes next. We need a black thread. We're going to tie a knot in the end. Just like that. And then we're going to feed it up one of these larger holes in the body to come out above the muzzle just about there you don't have to be precise put your eyes where you feel they look best and then with the eyes i generally do a french knot so we need to wrap the yarn around the needle we're going to do that five times so that's one two three four five and then we're going to put it in the next stitch along and come up the other side where you'd like your other eye to be placed. And then we just push that through. It's quite tight, so I generally use pliers when I'm doing this because it hurts my fingers, but there we go. We did it. And that is your French knot eye. So we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to go around five times. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to bring it up the next stitch. Just bring it up anywhere for now out the way once you've got your eye in place. You can always feed it back through the body to do the muzzle. There we go. And there's your two French knot eyes. So I'm going to pop this back through that same hole and we're going to come up in the muzzle and we're going to pop the nostrils on. See where it wants to come up. There we go. A bit too far over for my liking so we're going to move it along to the next one there we go and we're going to pop one down here and we're going to come up the other side to do the same on the other side i oh, don't want to do that did i, I might get off the handle there we go. so now i've got one nostril and we're going to come up Let's move them across one more. Doesn't look right for me. That's better. And again, bring it anywhere in the body just so that we can secure it off. Our nostrils. 
and I'm going to weave it through another one just to make sure it's secured and it's not just going to pick off. stuffing around and there we have it so you could have left the yarn on actually to do the eyebrows so let's do this bit again up again through one of the larger holes some nice eyebrows to avoid all this stuffing coming out. Can't really help that. I'm just embroidering on a set of eyebrows for him. do the same on the other side. Now the last thing we're left to deal with is sewing on the spots that we made. So we just cut off the back piece. Thread our needle and it really doesn't matter where you sew these, just do it what looks best to the eye. I generally thread it through a couple of times just to give it the more circular shape. And then we're ready. So I think we'll start with one here. Exactly the same as how you did the ears and the muzzle. Take a part of the body and then work your way up through the spot. Up one, down the next, and then catch the body again. So you're going to work all your way around and you're going to add on as many spots as you like and I will see you with the finished product. Now that's the end of the tutorial um, as you can see they look fairly similar and if you like free tutorials and free patterns just subscribe to my channel and give it a like and you should be notified every time I put a new one up thank you